welcome to marine gurukul video series this short video is intended to address your queries and anxiety about the validity of some of our modular course certificates and also extension of 18 months validity certificates to full term validity the contents of this video are based on the information available in the dg shipping order 17 of 2021 dated 1st may 2021 and dgs order 18 of 2021 dated 4th may 2021 we we have seen over last one and a half years since the onset of pandemic that uh, dg shipping has been proactively coming with a lot of changes to meet the requirements of the industry and keep the things moving and these two orders are also revolutionary steps in that direction these two orders facilitate seafarers to complete certain mandatory training which may be essential for their ship joining issuance of coc or revalidation of cocs now all non-simulator based courses all modular non-simulator based courses which have practical component been divided into two parts part a and part b so these two orders cater to the requirements of non-simulator based modular courses having practical component now part a comprises of three tier mechanism of learning which include e-learning virtual classes conducted by an approved mti and online exit examination. Now, once a seafarer completes part A through the three tier mechanism, he is entitled to be issued a 18 months validity certificate for the course. Now, this 18 month certificate in due course, as and when circumstances permit, can be extended to full term validity by, uh, by the seafarer undergoing part B of the training. Now, part B comprises of the practical training at an approved MTI. Of course, to be enrolled in part B, the seafarer must have been issued the 18 months validity certificate. So practically, what has DG Shipping done? Each course has been subdivided into almost practically two independent components. This also facilitates a seafarer to take undertake part a maybe at any institute why because it's through virtual classes so he may be con convenient taking it based on his availability at any remotely located institute or even part a can be taken when the seafarer may be in quarantine or maybe on ship or maybe abroad for part a the seafarer does not have to be assured for part b he can attend it wherever it is convenient to him. So it is not binding on the seafarer to attend part A and part B at the same MTI. They could be done at different MTIs. Courses which are basically covered through these two DGS orders and to which the split of part A and part B applies are PSCRB, refresher in PSCRB, advanced firefighting, refresher in advanced firefighting, medical care, refresher in medical care, medical first aid, refresher in medical first aid, personal survival techniques, refresher in personal survival technique, fire prevention and firefighting, refresher in fire prevention and firefighting, basic safety training fast rescue boat course and the refresher in fast rescue boat course so these 15 courses get covered through these two orders which is a very very welcome change and should help a lot of seafarers we hope that dg shipping comes out with something similar for the simulator based courses also soon so that the seafarers can continue with their training and ship joining. Thank you very much for watching the Marine Guru Kul video series. We intend releasing more videos related to training as and when necessary. 
to get automatic update on our new releases please subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much thank you once again